All right, folks, we're in a trade, just got into a trade right here at 42.54. <clears throat> see if we could um, <clears throat> go ahead and ride this to the top. And I got a good push so far. It's now 8.06 in the morning. See if we could push to at least this top side. Um, real quick, the reason I got into this particular trade is because we're pushing in <clears throat> on a slight uptrend was making some structure. We have lower highs, excuse me, lower lows. Uh, or I should say, in this case, lower high. Higher. I can never get that part right. <clears throat> so basically, we have higher lows. Well, we have lower lows to lower highs to higher lows, whatever the hell. So basically, I, I could never get that right for whatever. So basically, we have a lower high. And now we have a higher low. And then we have a higher low. And a higher high. What the fuck am I talking about? That shit is crazy. But anyway, um, we're, we're making structure. It's basically closing higher um, than it was on a previous trade. Ooh, I don't like that, that spike down. So um, hopefully we'll bounce on the 20 and push up to at least the 200. So as you can see, we're making uh, the structure. What the hell is this shit doing? What am I doing today? Oh, you want to play games now, huh? So now we're hitting the... The 50 EMA. But anyway, we're making higher lows. And hopefully we close on a higher low right here again, which we did. So we're looking for a higher high right here. But all of a sudden, as soon as I get in a trade, it wants to push down further, but we didn't close under the 50 yet. And we still have a we still have a uh, support level right there, so hopefully we close above that and we keep going. If not, I will be in trouble again, but that's cool because I'm here to trade. Lately, I've been um, watching trades just go. I'll set it up way ahead of time and then just watch it go without taking the entry because I'm overthinking. And then the days you don't overthink and you clearly see it and you get in and it do some ridiculous stuff. So anyhow, let's watch how this trade plays out. We'll take it there. Oh man, we close below. That's crazy. Now, why the hell did it do that? Why? Why the fuck is it doing this now? I don't get it. Huh? Interesting. It's always some stupid shit. Always, never fails.
See, you now this trade is trying to play me. It was doing fine. And now it wants to screw around. It wants to screw around with my uh, psychology. Because we were doing fine. I mean, we still have time to pull back. Hopefully this support holds. We create a support in this area and then push back up. I didn't want to get stuck in this trade at 8.30. And it's 8.12. And it looks like it wants to play games with me. But anyway, like I said, I saw structure forming for the upside. I got in over my 20, as usual. And then... It broke above, got me into the trade, and then pulled back below and closed under my 20. Uh, technically closed right on the 50, which is too close for comfort, which I don't like. Um, I was anticipating, I was anticipating this movement. Let's see. I was anticipating, what the hell is this thing doing? This movement, we have this, higher low, higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low, and then catch me here. And that's the trading plan that we're going to <clears throat> hopefully watch play out. But I don't like this pullback that it did um hopefully we go ahead and <clears throat> pull back as i anticipate us to do and i could get out of here before 8 30 because i don't like that 8 30 push um but that should be the play That should be the play. I actually have a 50 point stop loss and it closed below the 50. That's crazy. Well, now all I'm banking on is this support area right here. So we got to start pushing back up or, or I'm screwed. Because even if the trade plays out, <clears throat> what could possibly happen is with the 830 push on US 30, I don't want to get wicked out before it actually starts pushing back up. Um, so I want to push back up before 830 so I could get out of this trade um, safely. And right now, I don't like the way this is uh, this is moving. I really don't.
See what I mean? It's always some fuck shit. Every time I get into a trade, it decides to do some dumb shit. And it's just to mess with my psychology, man. That's really what it wants to do. Screw up my psychology. Because this is a good setup. Now, I don't want to go ahead and break close below this area, which we're pushing hard below. Oh, I'm screwed. Like why? Why? We're definitely going to need to close higher than where we're at right now. I need a push up, a real strong push up. <clears throat> but in the trading game, it's you're going to lose. The idea is to win more than you lose. Now, see, we went ahead and closed below this higher low, which I don't like. Now I'm in the dumps. <clears throat> Took the trade too close to. I still believe the setup was 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 good for me. But because I anticipating it right here at 806 which pushed me in and start taking me down i anticipated 806 would basically push me up at least to this area and i get you know a couple of points <clears throat> i get a couple of points and i could be out by 8 30 or before 8 30 but it decides to take me all the way down here into the red zone closer to my stop loss and then when 8 30 comes unless we're forming some sort of you know uptrend structure then it push down um and take me out then i'll be screwed for the trade so i don't know it's not looking good right now, but hey, let's see. All right, so this particular video is about to end really quick. I'm gonna jump back on um, on the next one. Cuts me off. All right, so. 
<clears throat> Hopefully we form a support here. We got two minutes left and we're still pushing down hard. I swear. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke. But let's see. Not out of the game yet. <sighs> I'm already knee deep in the BS, so let me just let the trade play out. Like I said, 830 could either make me or break me. is a terrible way to take the first trade. Okay, I like that. Let's get back over that support level. Preferably above those EMAs. Let's shoot to the top, 830. Don't do me dirty. Don't do me dirty, 830. This computer is moving slow. Okay, we close higher. I like that. Now we just need to push up out of this danger zone. All right, so we didn't close too much lower than the last low. So we, there's still some, some luck. Oh no, we got to break that support though. Well, that resistance level now. That's a resistance on the H1. That could be our nemesis for this trade. I wish we never closed below that. But at 17, 717 this morning, we bust right through it. So hopefully we could do that now. I'm very nervous because I don't have a lot of space for her at this point. I don't have a lot of room for error. Got to break that resistance level. If I'm going to have any chance of salvaging this trade. Hopefully 830 is not volatile today. We have news at 945.
Okay, so we're breaking it. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> no, we rejected off of it. We peaked above it. Hopefully that'll give us some strength to uh come on baby. Don't do daddy wrong today. Do not do daddy wrong today. Morale is already low. Come on, give me this trade, baby. Give me this trade. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got two minutes. Two minutes to close above. No, actually one minute. Come on, let's close above, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's push, baby. Come on. Yeah. Now I need you to break through the 50 and the 20. I see the 20 is curving up, which I like. That means we have the buying pressure pushing against them. Come on. Push up. We got 30 seconds to close above that that our key level come on 23 seconds let's do it baby let's do it yeah let's do it we pull back down get some strengths pick up some buyers down there uh-huh uh-huh five seconds let's do it you can do it three seconds two one push up damn it yeah, okay, here we go. This is the one. Yeah, we close higher. This is the one. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. <clears throat> the buyers are in the building. Let's push. Let's do it. Oh, it's 830. Yeah, now we need some volume to the upside. Okay, let's go. Thank God 830 hasn't been an asshole. Because usually at 830, we have a strong push. Um, well, actually, I would love it to give that strong push to the upside, that 830 push to the upside. But thank goodness it didn't um, totally bottom out. So um, I have some confidence in this trade. Yes, let me get that 830 push to the upside. We got to obliterate those EMAs, which we're doing right now. Yes, baby, come on. Push to the top. Let's go, let's go. If they say you have a trade set up, stick with it. If it made sense, it should play out. Sometimes it don't, but it's okay. Um, this was a scary one. It started doing what it wasn't supposed to do. But um, now we could start breaking some levels. I just want to get up into this area right here. Hopefully up to this four hour. Four hour key level. I'm trading on the five minute now. My key levels are set up um, at different at different times. Um, and when I notice they are respected at the lower time frames, um, it shows how strong they are. Oh, come on, come on. What's with the push down? What are you doing? But yeah, like I said, um, I, I set up my key levels on a, on a higher time.
I set up my key levels on a higher time frames. On a higher time frames, and you know, if they were they're respected on the lower time frames, then you know I like that. Um, it shows that it's set up. But on the five minutes, you know, I set up my supports and resistance and areas, um, you know, there. But the higher time frame. Um, drawings, you know, I just leave them on there. Like these have been on here forever. Like when I need to chart out my, um, draw out my charts um, on the lower time frame, I just do it manually there at that time. <clears throat> so, come on, baby, we got to push up. Let's go, let's go. All we need to do is close above this hour, this hourly key level right here, which I don't like the fact that we're pushing down. We just need to close above this. Come on, what the fuck? See, now we're having trouble closing above that, and I don't like that. These uh, <clears throat> buy candles are closing very small. That's a huge wick off of this candle. I don't like that. We need some strength. We need the buyers to come in. But I'm happy that 8.30 didn't uh, whack me. But see, I don't like what it's doing. It's closing. See, my key levels are strong. Come on. And I don't like the fact that this closed a little below. We closed a little below our previous low. That was a bad sign. We need to get above this um, this hour resistance. We need to close above that key level so I could get some decent support. All right, so I guess we're in this trade up until 9.30. Hopefully we could push up before that. I do not like what this is doing. Yeah. This is some bullshit. This trade totally... Let me not say that. Let me not... Uh, let me not accept defeat before the fact. But I don't like the way it's moving. We were clearly above the 20 and 50 EMA, forming an upward structure, lower highs. Well, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. Then we made a slightly lower low right after I decide to get in the trade. And then we pushed a lower, lower high, a slightly lower high, like two pips. But what I notice in this game, everything counts. And now we're below my EMAs, which I don't like to be. That's why I took the trade above it. And we're below we are below um, <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> my hourly key level. But we just need to close above that, which I believe we are. Looks like we just need to uh, pick up some buyers from this area. That's what I'm going to tell myself, hopefully. And then once we do that, we're going to push up to the upside and give daddy some profits. It's midweek. I've been watching trades just go by all week. And when I decide to take the trade, I would set up the trades and then just watch my entries get touched, not go in and then watch the trades play out. And that is very frustrating. Or for some reason, I would miss the entry and then it would play out perfectly without all of this BS that is putting me through right now. Like right now, this is some BS. All right, we close higher. I like that. We got a higher low, so hopefully we start forming some structure to go to the upside. Because we have a lot of space in between uh, the EMAs to push up. My goal is we just need to stay above. We need to stay above. Uh, we need to close and stay above this key level. At 4200 4, something. I'm having a hard time breaking that, but we're going to break it. It's going to happen. Uh, these push downs are just crazy. I don't like that rejection. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. But we gonna let her do her thing. I just hate to be in a trade this long unless it's going my way. <clears throat> it sucks to be in a drawdown for this long. It's time to get in profit. Okay, the five minute is coming to a close. We have 50 seconds. I hope we uh, form a support right now. Okay, we got 14 seconds left, 10 seconds. 
Let's push up, baby. Push up, push up, push up. Three seconds. Okay, we close green, which is good. <clears throat> I just pushed it upside. I'm trying to beat 930. I don't want to be in the trade at 930. Man, when I took this trade this morning, I was sure we were going to just go ahead and push for an easy higher high, let's say, to about this area. And I was going to be out of that trade in 10, 15 minutes, or if it was going higher, um, longer. But... As soon as I got in, it pushed up and decided it wants to put me into the depths of drawdown hell. Before it pushes up, which hopefully we're doing now, we just need some stronger candles. We, our nemesis, like I said earlier, was this key level that's acting as a resistance right now. Uh, so, um, oh yeah, I got to tell y'all, like, subscribe, share, so you guys could watch me make and lose money on the daily, and watch my trade ideas, see if it makes sense to you, if you got any tips for me, let me know, because right about now, these trades are just looking stupid. They just fuck me over. That's what it's looking like right now. This is some fucking bullshit. Come on, buyers. I know y'all are here. Let's just go. Come on. You don't need to push down any lower. Let's just do it. Let's break above this damn key. Okay, good. We closed higher. I did not like the movement of that last candle. 
it flows higher, which is a good thing. So hopefully we're forming some support in this area. And we could push up from there. Those wicks are the ones that's gonna scare the shit out of you. And <clears throat> you know, after you watch the trade play out, you're like, damn, I should have did this, I should have did that. But you have the you have to have the balls to stay in the trade. Because after the trade, it looks so clear on what you should have done. And you know, you should have did this and should have did that. But now my new area is to stay above this little area of support. So when or lose, I got to let this uh, trade play out. I'll be honest, I don't like the way it's looking now. I don't like to be under my EMAs. And the saying is do what the market tells you and not what you think. And that's exactly what I did. But in this case, at least for now, you know, it's telling you something and doing the other. Because like I said, at this entry right here where it kept going and actually closing a little bit higher, it did not tell me that it wanted to, to, to go and draw down this deep. It was telling me that it wanted to, it was ready to push up, but obviously it wasn't. Because it pushed up here a little bit and then I got in this candle, then it pushed up all the way up here and just decided to tank. Push back up, tank. Well, actually on this push up, hopefully we could maintain this support level and push up back up into here. And that's the new trade idea. Is we're gonna maintain support right here and push to the upside. God willing. I set up too many fire trades to lose the ones that I actually take, so. I'm going to win this one just like the others. But that's the name of the game, man. You win some, you lose one. You lose some. Or I like that. You win some, you lose one. That's cool. As long as you're winning more than you're losing. All right, we have 50 seconds to push to the upside. and or create, maintain the support level. This five minute support level. Which I'm positive that we're gonna do. 30 seconds, oh no, I don't like that. No, no, no. 20 seconds. Yep, buyers, we need you, 10 seconds, 7 seconds, 5 seconds, buyers, bring your asses in, and of course the fuck not it did it. And we did it, this is some bullshit I swear.
I'm fucking done with this trade. This is some bull fucking shit. So now what I need to start doing is looking for my next entry. Because this one is not looking good at fucking all. This trade fucking played me. And I got fucking stopped out. Fuck. Some bullshit. Well, anyhow, go ahead, like, subscribe. And uh, catch me for the next trade. This is the Rogue Trader signing out.